Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to another how to video. Today we will be going through how to pray with him. So, what is the Witr prayer? The Witr Salah is the odd number raka'at that you pray after you finish your Isha prayer. So, after you finish your Isha and any Nafal or Sunnah that you're going to follow up with it, you pray your Witr prayer to conclude your Salahs for the day. Sometimes, if you want to pray your Qiyam or night prayer, you do that before, like we do in Ramadan, in sets of two, and then you conclude with the Witr prayer that can be, of course, odd. Like one rak'ah, three, five, seven, nine, or more. There's a lot of virtue and reward in it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praises those who pray at night, like He praised the Sahaba in Surah Al Dhariyat, ayah number 17, when Allah mentioned, Kanu qalilam min al layli ma yahja'oon, wa bil ashari hum yastaghfirun. Allah mentioned that they would only sleep at night for a little and spend it in prayer and in worship. The Prophet sallallahu said in a hadith, Indeed, Allah has assisted you with a salah that is better for you than red camels. Red camels, of course, being the most precious wealth the Arab knew. And of course, this shows you the reward and the virtue of this great Salah. The Witr prayer starts after the conclusion of the Isha prayer and can be prayed all the way until dawn or Fajr. Now let's get into the most important part of the video. Now you have two options as it relates to the Witr prayer. You can either pray before you go to sleep, ensuring you definitely do not miss it, and this was the advice the Prophet ﷺ gave to Abu Huraira and other companions, to pray with it before you go to sleep. Or you can go to sleep and then wake up towards the latter part of the night and pray your witr then. This is of course more virtuous. We already covered that the witr prayer is done in odd numbers. So you either pray one or three, five, seven, nine, and beyond. It's prayed like any other salah. But if you're praying three rak'at, for example, you can either have one tashahud at the end, meaning you get up after every rak'ah, and then at the end you have your tashahud where you read your tahiyat and you finish, or at the second rak'ah you read a tashahud, get up, and then the final rak'ah you finish it and you do your tasleep and finish the prayer. If you're praying more than three, such as five and seven, then you don't do any tashahud except at the last one, as reported by Aisha radiallahu anha. It is also highly advised that you include the Qunut Dua in your Witr prayer. The Qunut is a Dua that you read during the final Rak'ah of your Witr, either before you go for your Ruku' or after, in which you raise your hands and you read a Dua. One of the Duas that is recommended is the one the Prophet ﷺ taught to his grandson Hassan ibn Ali. This is how the Dua goes. Allahumma hdini fi man hadayt. وعافني في من عافيت وتولني في من توليت وبارك لي فيما أعطيت وقني شر ما قضيت إنك تقضي ولا يقضى عليك وإنه لا يذل من واليت ولا يعز من عاديت تباركت ربنا وتعاليت If you don't do قنوت your witr is still valid if someone misses the Witr prayer, oversleeps or forgets, then it's recommended that you make it up the following morning after sunrise. But then you would pray in even numbers. For example, if you usually pray one rak'ah of Witr in the night, then you miss it or you oversleep, you pray two in the morning. If you pray three in the night, you pray four in the morning. Now remember the virtue and importance of the Witr prayer and start this blessed practice in your daily life. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like, subscribe and share with your friends. For more videos like this, check out our full how-to playlist in the description below. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.